presents At The Line. One of the biggest mistakes I see people make with their young dog carrying on his first few hunting trips is not having the dog where he can see all the action. You know, at home, training in the backyard, you know, you're hand throwing bumpers out in the backyard on mowed Bermuda grass, the dog can see everything that goes on. As we well know, in a hunting scenario, it's not always that way. You know, there's always buck brush, cattails, uh, you know, the dog's closed in the blind, closed in a pit, uh, behind trees, all that kind of stuff. Well, when Boomer was a puppy, there were some excuses for that, lack of equipment. Uh, today, that's really not the case. Today, we have lots of new equipment. This is an Avery Rough stand that Boomer's sitting on right now. has adjustable legs to adjust for the water depth. You can put this thing literally anywhere where the water's 36 inches or shallower. It's very easy to hide, very easy to hide the dog. Uh, this is another uh, timber stand. This actually goes on the tree. Uh, you wrap this around, hook it back on itself. It's a, it's a, this is what we use every single day in the green timber. Uh, works really well. Put the dog anywhere around the edge of the hole that you can. This is a double duty stand that hangs on the hangs on the outside of the boat. Although we'll have the, the blind popped up, the dog would be inside where it wouldn't be able to see. With this, we can actually leave the dog outside the, 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 the boat blind, have the dog on the front where he can see everything, basically 360 degrees around him so he can see what's going on. You know, young dogs don't understand the difference between hunting and, and training the first hunt or two. With today's equipment, if you'll put the dog out where he can see on his first few hunts, which will make it a whole lot easier on him, which in turn will make it a whole lot easier on you.